Hi, welcome to Jesus for All 2, God's Word, Your Daily Bread, for May 8th, 2022. Happy Mother's Day to all those who are mothers. Hallelujah and glory to God. Here you will hear daily readings of God's Word, the Bible, with the goal of hearing the entire Bible by the end of 2022. The book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17, reads, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. This is a brief introduction. The book of John, chapter 6, verse 35, reads, And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 12, reads, Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. And whatever whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And the book of John, chapter 14, verse 6 through 7 reads, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also, and from now on you know him and have seen him. Hallelujah and glory to God. The book of John chapter 1 verse 1 to 2 and chapter 4 and verse 14 reads in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God verse 2 he was in the beginning with God and verse 14 and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth hallelujah And the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. And 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 24, reads, Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. Hallelujah and glory to God. And the book of John chapter 14 verse 15 reads, If you love me, keep my commandments. And Matthew chapter 22 verse 37 to 39 reads, Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Verse 38, This is the first and great commandment. And the second, verse 39, is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Hallelujah and glory to God. And John chapter 14, verse 16 through 18 reads, And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. And verse 18, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Hallelujah and glory to God. And the book of John chapter 15 verse 26 reads, But when the Helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. And John chapter 16 verse 8 reads, And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Verse 9 of sin, because they do not believe in me. Verse 10, of righteousness, because I go to my Father and you will see me no more. And verse 11, of judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. And the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 18 through 19 reads, And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. And verse 19, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah and glory to God. And the book of John chapter 15 verse 7 reads, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done 
for you. And so in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the words of Christ that we shall hear today from the Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus Christ, which are the words of Jesus Christ, are Psalm 104, verse 19 through 35, Proverb 8, because it is the eighth day of the month, and there are 31 Proverbs, seemingly one for each day of the month. The Proverbs are God's wisdom. Wisdom for living righteously in an unrighteous world. Hallelujah and glory to God. The Old Testament reading will be from the book of Ruth, chapter 3, verse 1 through chapter 4, verse 22. And the New Testament reading will be from the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 1 through 19. Hallelujah and glory to God. And now Psalm 104, continuing at verse 19. And it reads, He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knows it's going down. You make darkness and it is night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep about. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their food from God. When the sun rises, they gather together and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his work and to his labor until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your possessions. The great and wide sea, in which are innumerable teeming things, living things, both small and great. There are ships sail about. There is that Leviathan which you have made to play there. These all wait for you, that you may give them their food in due season. What you give them they gather in. You open your hand, they are filled with good. You hide your face, they are troubled. You take away their breath, they die, and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Verse 31, May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it trembles. He touches the hills and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. May my meditation be sweet to him. I will be glad in the Lord. Verse 25 and last, May sinners be consumed from the earth and the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah and glory to God in the highest. This word is already blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As is, I pray, is every hearer. And now Psalm 8. Amen. And it reads, Does not wisdom cry out and understanding lift up her voice? She takes her stand on the top of the high hill, beside the way where the paths meet. She cries out by the gates, the entry of the city, at the entrance of the doors. To you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. O you simple ones, understand prudence, and you fools, be of an understanding heart. Listen, for I will speak of excellent things. And from the opening of my lips will come forth Write things, for my mouth will speak truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are with righteousness. Nothing crooked or perverse is in them. They are all plain to him who understands, and right to those who find knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things one may desire cannot be compared with her. Verse 12. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and find out knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogance, and the evil way, and the perverse mouth I hate. Counsel is mine, and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me kings reign, and rulers decree justice. By me princes rule, and nobles, all the judges of the earth. Verse 17, I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently will find me. Riches and honor are with me, enduring riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yes, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. 
I traverse the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of justice, that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth, that I may fill their treasuries. Verse 22, the Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I have been established from everlasting, from the beginning, before there was ever an earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth, when there were no fountains abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills I was brought forth, while as yet he had not made the earth or the fields or the primal dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limit, so that the waters would not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him as a master craftsman, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in his inhabited world, and my delight was with the sons of men. Verse 32, Now therefore listen to me, my children. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Hear instruction. And be wise, and do not disdain it. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For whoever finds me finds life, and obtains favor from the Lord. Verse 36 and last. But he who sins against me wrongs his own soul, and all those who hate me love death. Amen, amen, and amen. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed, and I pray that all of us, hallelujah, will have the heart to love wisdom, that we may, in turn, love life. Because if we hate wisdom, disdain it, then we love death, as we have just learned. Hallelujah and glory to God. Amen. And now the Old Testament reading from Continuing from the book of Ruth, chapter 3, and it reads, Then Naomi, her mother-in-law, said to her, My daughter, shall I not seek security for you, that it may be well with you? Now Boaz, whose young woman you were with, is he not your relative? In fact, he is winnowing barley tonight at the threshing floor. Therefore, wash yourself and anoint yourself, put on your best garment and go down to the threshing floor, but do not make yourself known to the man until he has finished eating and drinking. Then it shall be when he lies down that you shall notice the place where he lies, and you shall go in, uncover his feet and lie down, and he will tell you what you should do. And she said to her, All that you say to me I will do. So she went down to the threshing floor and did according to all that her mother-in-law instructed her. And after Boaz had eaten and drunk and his heart was cheerful, he went to lie down at the end of the heap of grain. And she came softly, uncovered his feet, and lie down. Now it happened at midnight that the man was startled and turned himself, and there a woman was lying at his feet. And he said, Who are you? So she said, I am Ruth, your maidservant. Take your maid servant under your wing, for you are a close relative. Then he said, Blessed are you of the Lord, my daughter, for you have shown more kindness at the end than at the beginning, in that you did not go after young men, whether poor or rich. And now, my daughter, do not fear. I will do for you all that you request, for all the people of my town know that you are a virtuous woman. Now it is true that I am close relative, however there is a relative closer than I. Stay this night, and in the morning it shall be that if he will perform the duty of a close relative for you, good, let him do it. But if he does not want to perform the duty for you, then I will perform the duty for you as the Lord lives. Lie down until morning. Verse 14. So she lay at his feet until morning, and she arose before one could recognize another. Then she said, Do not let, then he said, Do not let it be known that the woman came to the threshing floor. Also, he said, bring the shawl that is on you and hold it. And when she held it, he measured six epas of barley and laid it on her. Then she went into the city. 
When she came to her mother-in-law, she said, Is that you, my daughter? Then she told her all that the man had done for her. And she said, These six epas of barley he gave me. For he said to me, Do not go empty-handed to your mother-in-law. Then she said, Sit still, my daughter, until you know how the matter will turn out. For the man will not rest until he has concluded the matter this day. Amen. Chapter 4. Now Boaz went up to the gate and sat down there, and behold, the close relative of whom Boaz had spoken came by. So Boaz said, Come, come aside, friend, sit down here. So he came aside and sat down. And he took ten men of the elders of the city and said, Sit down here. So they sat down. Then he said to the close relative, Naomi has come back from the country of Moab. So the piece of land which belonged to her brother, Elimelech. And I thought to inform you, saying, Buy it back in the presence of the inhabitants and the elders of my people. If you will redeem it, redeem it. But if you will not redeem it, then tell me that I may know, for there is no one but you to redeem it, and I am next after you. And he said, I will redeem it. Then Boaz said, On the day you buy the field from the hand of Naomi, you must also buy it from, the, from Ruth, the Moabitess, the wife of the dead, to perpetuate the name of the dead through his inheritance. And the close relative said, I cannot redeem it for myself, lest I ruin my own inheritance. You redeem my right of redemption for yourself, for I cannot redeem it. Now this was the custom in former times in Israel concerning redeeming and exchanging to confirm anything. One man took off his sandal and gave it to the other, and this was a confirmation in Israel. Therefore the close relative said to Boaz, Buy it for yourself. So he took off his sandal. And Boaz said to the elders and all the people, You are witnesses this day that I have bought all that was Elimelech's and all that was Chilon's and Malon's from the hand of Naomi. Moreover, Ruth the Moabitess, the widow of Malon, I have acquired as my wife to perpetuate the name of the dead through his inheritance, that the name of the dead may not be cut off from among his brethren and from his position at the gate. You are witnesses this day. And all the people who were at the gate and the elders said, We are witnesses. The Lord make the woman who is coming to your house like Rachel and Leah, the two who built the house of Israel, and may you prosper in Epatha and be famous in Bethlehem. May your house be like the house of Perez, whom Tamar bore to Judah, because of the offspring which the Lord will give you from this young woman. So Boaz took Ruth, and she became his wife. And when, she went in, and when he went into her, the Lord gave her conception, and she bore a son. Then the woman said to Naomi, Blessed be the Lord who has not left you this day without a close relative, and may his name be famous in Israel, and may he be to you a restorer of life and a nourisher of your old age. For your daughter-in-law who loves you is better to you than seven sons has borne him. Then Naomi took the child and laid him on her bosom and became a nurse to him. Also, the neighbor woman gave him a name saying there is a son born to Naomi and they called his name Obed he is the father of Jesse the father of David now this is the genealogy of Perez Perez begot Hezron and Hezron begot Ram and Ram begot Aminadab Aminadab begot Nashon and Nashon begot Salmon Salmon begot Boaz, and Boaz begot Obed. Obed begot Jesse, and Jesse begot David. Hallelujah, and glory to God in the highest. Amen, amen, and amen in Jesus' name. Look what the Lord has done. Hallelujah, and glory to God. I pray that our faith has been increased by this reading. For no matter how desolate things look, trust in the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and he will bring it to pass. And his plans for us are for good to give us a future and peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah and glory to God. 
And as we have heard this word, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that according to Psalm 107, verse 20, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that we have been healed and delivered from every destruction in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers again, and the grandmothers, and the great-grandmothers. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.